Hello all, we are here for one more lesson of this Varicad 2016 training course and the topic for this lesson is called Other Functions and uh, I want to show you other Boolean uh, operations um, a, little, a little special from the one we've seen uh, on the previous lesson and to start showing you I will uh, make uh, the same cube as I usually do so now what I want to show you it is the first one it is the fillet and the fillet basically makes a blending of an edge or a multiple edges so these are the options we have and basic we have select a continuous edge which in this case we don't have because uh, this option uh, we'll try to search uh, for not tangent uh, edges but uh, natural uh, flow edges okay in this particular case we may need to pick several edges and say okay now uh, we need to give the value of the radius I will give 10 and okay the radius will be done okay for example, now if I click this edge here, you see that we already have a natural flow. So you can find all these uh, edges. The second uh, option is a very single edge. Okay, you see the same option will choose only one uh, entity. And the last function, it is a patch outline. So I can choose, for example, this patch here, say OK. I can say the same value. In this particular case, I may have problems, OK, because of the value. But for example, let me try uh, a smaller one, maybe one millimeter. OK, and here you have full radius around on that patch. Uh, very similar, I will go back, very similar to this uh, fillet function, I have the chamfer function. The options are the same, the only difference it is that uh, we have, uh, instead of a round edge, we have a chamfer, equal distance on both sides. Uh, we may have um, some possibilities to deal with about both the chamfer and the the fillet about the connections and the finding uh, of the special cases i will not come to to these options uh, because most of you will find out the limitations and, and and the capabilities of the software as long as you use it so basically you choose the edges and you see that will make some operation it will give a mistake in these uh, in these edges here let us go back and try to do again uh, probably is too big you have the functions also in this toolbar I will choose them now here for example let me try 10 okay I had a mistake on this one it doesn't matter really uh, I will try to do this if I make one edge at a time you see that I can give different distance for uh, the both sides of the chamfer so I can make this one here let me try to do this one here okay and now it was done uh, so these are the two special uh, boolean operations besides this I want to talk to you about um, uh, the function of deleting solids okay or their parts this is quite important because um, it gives you a lot of possibilities and I will open for example a new part um, for example if I have this part here I will isolate this one uh, and put it a little aside so that we can see it for example this part has a lot of things already done on it so if I go under delete uh, you'll get this uh, toolbar with some options 
um, and we can delete the complete solid and okay I click choose the solid click and it will be deleted or I can choose a single element of the solid like for example this hole or that hole uh, I was trying to find if this uh, chamfer here uh, was possible to delete or not but it was done through um, 2d profile so it's not an isolated item or a branch which probably here I also don't have uh, in particular to show you for example let me make a small fillet here okay I can go under delete again single element and because this fillet was done on a command and did not came with a shape to extrude this part I can partially delete only the fillet and return to the original shape okay this is the idea to use the delete on single elements which is uh, quite interesting and basically uh, those were the functions I had to show you the chamfer the fillet as a boolean operations and these possibilities to work with the delete command